Know. Hey bedheads, so today I am, sorry mom. <laughs> today I am going to vlog, well it's actually not even day, it's 6.30 p.m. It's New Year's Day. We went to my grandma's house and had Christmas and did our like gift exchange and ate lunch and everything. And now we're back home at my parents' house and me and Audrey are going to begin packing for Portland. So I wanted to start vlogging because I wanted to film the whole packing process. All right guys, Bethany is actually getting her video up for today. I was feeling a little antsy so I decided to go ahead and start packing. I have the dog stuff so far in my tote bag. Since it's only for two months, I've got a roll of paper towels that we'll, we can probably buy more of but we're kind of wanting to get away from paper towels, so we're probably gonna pack some rags as well. I've got this green tin full of treats, their shampoo, some rawhides, some little coconut chip treats that I think you can also integrate with their food. I've got three tennis balls because they love them and they're small so they can actually fit them in their mouths. Wipes for if they step in any gross stuff. Got one of Scar's extra hoodies, another ball, and their leashes. Next is our coat closet. We have a downstairs coat closet. First and foremost, I have my rain jacket and I need to find Bethany's. I think this is Bethany's. It's navy blue. I'm obviously going to take this windbreaker that Bethany got me for Christmas, but I don't think I'm gonna pack it yet. I might even wear it on our way there. So we're obviously gonna take this denim jacket that me and Beth both wear a lot. That's already a lot of jackets and then this jacket to wear under the other jacket. Okay, that's it. You gonna take your backpack? Yes, I have my backpack right here and it has all my school stuff in it. I just have this black leather backpack that I got a couple of years ago at Gap. Hers is cuter than mine. I thought about getting a new one, but. We're also going to take some tote bags. So these are for when we either go to the library and check out books, go grocery shopping, um, go shopping period, all of the above so that we don't have to use plastic bags or paper bags. We can use cloth bags and be more ethical and nicer to the planet. But inside of my backpack, I just have some flashcards right here because I always use them for studying for exams or quizzes and stuff. And then I just have some miscellaneous crap down there like deodorant. And here I've got different colored post-it notes because I like to color organize my subjects. And then same with the pens. I like to use a different color for each subject. Then I have lotion, whiteout, and chapstick in there. And here I just have a rag and bone makeup bag that has tampons, medicine, band-aids, so that kind of stuff. Okay, so we've made our way upstairs now and we're starting to pack some clothes. I don't know exactly what all I should go ahead and pack because we still have five days left here and I don't really know what I'm gonna be wearing or what I'm gonna be doing. But we're gonna go ahead and just pack anyways and if we just need to like open up the suitcase and pull stuff out, I guess we can. Here are the shoes that I'm going to be packing. But I feel like I shouldn't take all of these because they're literally all black and white. So like how many black and white sneakers do I actually need? Probably not all of these. And then I also am gonna go through these beanies. I'll probably just take all of these hats because they're all like tiny and different colored. And then this is my basket of DIY stuff that like I've purchased, but like something needs to be tailored about it. Like if they're either too long or I want to, I don't know, do something to alter it. So that's great. I need to do that before I go, but I probably won't end up getting to all of it. My mom and Audrey are over there. Cassie's over there. The dogs are all on the bed right there. And I'm on the floor right here. Okay, so this is the stuff that we're planning on taking so far. We just have some overalls in different colors. Basically, I'm thinking like mostly just pack comfortable, casual, but still cute things because it is gonna be rainy and a little bit cold and so we're gonna have to layer things. And I don't really know what all we'll be doing down there, um, up there actually. We've got a white long sleeve because that's very practical, a denim skirt, like a lot of denims and sweaters slash long sleeves basically. A couple of mock neck sweaters right here. Striped tops and plaid button ups. And then I haven't gone through sweaters yet, but I've got a black turtleneck here we're gonna take. A thicker gray sweater. So then I have more practical things. Obviously a ton of underwear that I'm gonna be taking right there. And then some bras that I'll also be taking. And then I've got my good Levi's jeans. I think I'm just gonna take like three different pairs of denim. I'll take these. So I'm also gonna take my black cropped corduroys because um, I'm not gonna take black skinny jeans and I honestly like the fit of these better. So that's my black pair of pants. 
Okay, and then oh, do I take my Calvins? Do I take more Levi's? But dark my one. Lols, my Calvins. Maybe I'll take these because they're oh, so much I'm darker. So here are um, all of my socks. I'm just taking a bunch of white socks and then a bunch of like longer socks. And then I've stuffed my underwear and bras into most of my shoes. Okay guys, so I just cut some of these pants that I got at a thrift store because they were like way too long because I'm so freaking short. But Audrey was like, you should do, because we've talked about doing this before, I used to actually sell jeans like this that were like $300 a pair. And I paid $4 for these and just did it myself. But they're cut short in the front and then I left them a little bit longer in the back and they'll look, e they'll look even better once they're like totally frayed but I think they look pretty freaking cool I love them so these are the pair of jeans I think that I'm going to take on the road trip with me as my like yeah road trip jeans because they're so loose and then I'll obviously wear them once I get there as well but they're like pretty baggy on me so they basically feel like a structured sweatpant and then Audrey just took the hangers off and folded all of these t-shirts we just have some like graphic tees plain colored tees that we take we always wear these under sweaters in case we get warm but we also wear them as like pajamas and lounge wear so we've made our way into the bathroom um, as far as lounge wear goes i'm going to take one pair of black nike leggings a pair of blue nike sweatpants these are unique low leggings, so they're made to go like layer underneath clothes. They're super duper thin but warm. And then these are another pair of Nike leggings. And then I'm just going to take two pair of athletic shorts and a pair of Spanx and then a pair of like lounge pajama-y shorts. Okay, so it's been a couple of hours. I look very tired, I feel like. But I have just been doing some DIYing. I cut a couple pairs of jeans. And I also just cut this shirt. I like to take t-shirts that I like don't love the fit of and cut the bottom seam off so it rolls up like this. And then I do the same for the sleeves. Does this whole like rolling thing that I freaking love. After that, all I'll really need to pack are things like bathroom products, and I have my textbooks still to pack. And then I need to pack stuff like jewelry, like a couple of rings, belts. But yeah, we're gonna go ahead and go to bed. So thank you guys for watching this short little vlog. I don't look this crappy all the time. If this is the first video you're ever watching, please go watch some of my other videos because I'm sure it's way better content. Mm -hmm.